My Weird School by Darling Kelly. I'm telling you and only you, but listen close because I'm only going to tell you once. Hi, I'm Claire and I'm 11 years old. I've only been in this school for a week, but I can tell you it's weird. What? What did you say? Oh, where am I? It's playtime right now. I'm in the bathroom. I think everyone's outside, but I'm just making sure we don't get overheard. Anyway, it's weird. My school's really weird, and I'm going to tell you why. You see, when I first stepped foot in the school, I went into a very windy assembly. My brown hair was literally smacking me in the face. Surprisingly, nobody else's hair was flying around. Everyone was staring at me. My pale skin turned bright red. I quietly sat down on the chair. The next day, I went into my classroom and found out we didn't just have one classroom each. Each student got a private classroom. The rooms were also gigantic. (sighs) You don't know how I reacted when I found out. We were supposed to teach the teachers. I mean... It's in the name, isn't it? Teachers teach. At the end of the day, I went straight home and told my mother. But she said, stop, Claire. Don't tell lies. You're not moving schools. And bang. Ow. A pan fell on my toe. So that's how that ended. Now I'm telling you, someone that might believe me. I'm not sure how you're going to help me, but I flushed the toilet. But as I was saying, it's... I've got to go, people are coming. But it's okay if you can't help me with the school because I kind of like this school. I've got to go. Bye. Hope you can do something though. Once upon a time, there was a little puppy called Sugar. Sugar was so fast and cute, but the best ability he had was superpower. His superpower was to make himself so strong, so he could lift anything. One day, Sugar watched TV, and suddenly a big greedy man pushed the door. The greedy man slowly walked in and kidnapped the sugar. Sugar was shocked and screamed. But sugar's strong spell power was to punch the greedy man. Then greedy man went back to his house. Sugar was happy because he can watch the TV again. But new really and look at the sugar, but sugar didn't see new billion. Then billion opened the door slowly. Sugar was not surprised. Sugar punched the billion, but it didn't work. This new billion was so strong that he didn't move and then sugar used last power to fit 
Australian in in East died because sugar's last power was very strong. Happy morning, Fisi shouted. She was so excited. Today is my special day. That reason was today, Cece was going on a free vacation to France. But when she got to the airport, she thought, I don't think it's a good day for a vacation. Look at that big gray cloud. But she ignored it. Never mind, it's my free vacation. But the prediction was right. The plane made a gigantic thunderstorm. It landed on the sea. The sea was the deepest sea in the whole world. But Cece couldn't swim. She began to drown, sinking deeper and deeper. The driver shot out of the water. He completely forgot about Cece, even though she was the only passenger that went to France. Meanwhile, Cece met a dolphin in the sea. She used her movements to communicate with the dolphin. Carry me so I can go on land, Cece whispered desperately. Dolphin listened and agreed. For two hours, the dolphin carried Cece until there was land. There was a person there, but the closer they went, they noticed it was the driver. They soon got there and Cece thanked the dolphin. Do you know where we are? asked Cece. Mm. The driver wanted to play Cece, but he had no idea where they were, so he told Cece the truth. No. They wondered how to get out of this unknown island. Well, at least there were many crabs, so they didn't have to worry about food. They could eat the crabs. For four days, they wondered and finally knew what they should do. They would build a boat very strong boat made out of wood. For the next three days, they only concentrated on making the boat. When they were finally done, they took off to the sea. For one week, they called for help. They screamed, help, help. They didn't rest and just screamed. They were driving. Also, they weren't very sure about getting out. When they were about to give up, they were alarmed at the sound. It was a boat. The boat rescued them and they got sent to a nearby hospital. Ten years later, they married. Maybe from the moments they spent at the island together made them love each other. Cece liked the driver and the driver thought the same as her. Also, not for a free vacation, they moved to France and lived there happily ever after.